Okay, so I'm going to try to do this video in one whole pass, but I don't know how well it's going to come out. So, this is the new robot that I've been working on for the past probably month, and it's named Cener. And it's a way larger than Diode. That's Diode. And there's Zener. Zener's got a lot more functions and is way more powerful than Diode. <clears throat> First off, starts off with the sonar head, sonar, to look, you know, left and right, pan the area, mounted on a hobby servo, just a parallax ping sensor. But now he's got two sharp IR sensors down here to detect any objects down here, and this is for the objects up here. He's got two solid rubber 8 inch uh, scooter wheels with uh, number 25 roller chain, big sprocket that runs to a 24 volt scooter motor right here. It's a pretty big motor. There's two of them. It's a 135 watt motor. Uh, it's missing the sprocket because the sprocket's actually getting worked on right now. So it's a 24 volt motor running off of it's running at 12 volts each motor has its own battery each controller has its own battery and they're all they don't you know these controllers only take 12 so there's only one one 12 volt battery per them so the next thing we've got the battery charges are built into the robot so right here you plug in you'd unplug this battery unplug this and then reach these cables over and plug them in here and you can charge the robot by plugging the power in. I don't know if you can see that. Right down there, there's a power outlet, like on the back of a computer. There's one of them mounted there. So you'd plug your power cord in there and plug it into the wall. And the two indicator LEDs right here tell you which batteries you know, are charging and when they're full. There's going to be a couple modifications up here. This is the Arduino Mega. It's the $60... Arduino microcontroller and it's got USB right here so we can plug it in and power it but we're going to be powering it through the voltage in down over here and there's going to be a key switch this key switch is going to be removed there's going to be an actual key that comes in to turn on the motors and then an actual key that comes in over here to turn on the board and then this switch will turn on this headlights there'll be two two clusters of four high power blue LEDs up front and then there's going to be one in the back shining down these are the motor controllers right here. They're Parallax HB25 motor controllers, and they're going to be powering one per motor. So I can turn them on now, but the motors won't come on. I don't know if you can hear them powering up. If I turn off the light, you can see them. But that system's running so far. I don't know how much longer I'll be working on it. Hopefully it should be moving soon. I haven't even started writing any code for it. So, I don't know. But if we look down here, here's the charging circuits. There's two of them. And there's a crazy mess of wire. In total, it weighs. It's a good heavy robot. I mean, I can't, you can't pick it up one hand and, you know, it's a good heavy robot. But, so far, that's just the start. I don't know, it doesn't really move yet. I've tested him out, I've, I've started up one of the motors and ran the chains in it. It's gonna go fast. But, I don't know, I'll have to post a checkup video of when it starts. So, check back.